Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 No Trail of Tears, our Cherokee Iron Man campaign. So, uh, it's been pretty slow these last couple of episodes. It's pretty much just been a four speed uh, colonizing, waiting for a chance to attack episodes thing. Um, so, yeah, so we just finished our colony at the end of the last episode, uh, our colony here. So I think next what I'm going to do, since we can't colonize Chesapeake because we don't have boats, which I was worried was going to be a thing, but it doesn't tell you that um, when you can't reach it. It just tells you that after, like if I find one of these, if I go way up here and I look at this, um, yeah, like if you look way up, oh, I guess it does say it at the bottom and I just didn't want to read it. I guess. Okay. I oh got. Anyway, uh, what I figure, I figure we're probably gonna do is we're gonna colonize Yudkin next, as it's low chances of rebellions. Um, it's a five development province. It is in a area we have not turned into a state yet, um, so we're not gonna get much money from it, but that's fine um, until later. But then I figure after we do that, we can go ahead and go up here into Morcot and then grab Chesapeake. And that will be two provinces away, which is the minimum distance for us to get to Chesapeake. And I want to try and get there as quickly as possible. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and do it. Send our colonist uh, and unpause the game. So, yeah. And plus, it's woods, and woods is a nice defensive terrain. So let's move in here. Let's get this going. As Have this go as quickly as possible, as much as possible. And yeah, we will just continue to go. We now make uh, 1.39 ducats a month, which is nice. Uh, I do still need to build up two more regiments to finish, excuse me, our current mission. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And in the meantime, we're just waiting. I suppose, again, again, we're just waiting. Um, I'm not focused on anything here, which is fine. Uh, I could take admin tech, but we're just going to wait. If I figured, all right, so I figure colonialism hasn't spawned yet. So until it spawns and we know they're coming over here, we might as well be teching up. Um, but I still would rather wait. Just had another advisor die. So let's get the tax modifier. So um, what was I saying? I figured that we have to wait for colonialism to spawn because that will spawn and then we'll know they're over here because they get because I believe you get progress towards colonialism just from having a colony over seas so in order for it to spawn you have to be in Europe Asia or Africa um, have to have a port in Cherokee. All right, so your capital has to be a port, or or the province has to be a port that it spawns. As I'm assuming, and you have to have a quest for the new world, and at least one province in North America, South America, uh, continents, or at least one province in New World con continent, in a New World continent. So, yeah. So we're waiting for that stuff. So, um, once it spawns, I figure I'll save up points. Well, we will want to take military tech. Uh, definitely tech 4. Tech 5 isn't as important. Um, it's not a morale tech. It's not a tactics tech. Um, it is a unit tech. So, units would have better pips. Let's look at that, actually. Um not you you get a couple more pips on your units so tech 5 might be important but we definitely need to have tech 4 before we go to another one and we got a comment so it's an omen it's an omen the world is ending but now i can do something with some of my um admin points and boost stability back up to two i wonder how is my devastation or prosperity let's see Oh, look at all that prosperous land. Look at all that. 
Isn't that just great? And we are boosting prosperity in down in this region too. Prosperity's nice, isn't it? Isn't it just amazing? I have some edicts I could enact. Um that would be trade power, which we don't really need. We could boot we could get cheaper development. Um institution spread doesn't matter. It will matter a lot later. Um I don't think we need to worry about state edicts right now. It's not something I tend to focus too much on, but it's something to keep in mind. You are in with Ottawa, and that is it. I can't rival you. No, I can't. Oh, you're allied to the Huron. Never mind. Never mind. Hmm. Anybody else want to join the Federation who's not in one? You're in one. You're in one with the saps. The saps. Who exactly? So the creek, the Wichita, the fox, the Osaga, and the Parotani. Hmm. It's not too much looking at it now that I've got... Now that I've got an army, I know I've got peep other friends with armies. I think the Huron was willing to join in against you, weren't they? Uh, not anymore. They apparently were when you were here, but not, well, n not here. That's, that's stupid. And we're still waiting on favors. What about, what about if I declared war on the creek? Would the Huron join? No, of course not. Of course the Huron would not join. We're at 15 now. So I have to have more units on my force limit. More units. That's okay. Ten stack's pretty nice. Ten stack is pretty much the height of power. There's an eleven stack up in here on. Yeah, they're not doing very much. Natives uprise. Oh no. What are we ever gonna do? We should just insta kill them pretty much now that we've got ten. Um, I could train a unit now. I think I want to wait and save up my money till around 40 again. Then we can build another two units. Or, what do we get? Recruitment time and maintenance. So we'll train one, see where we are, see where we're at. Do that stuff. So yeah, it's some more slow times. Um, I really want to fight some people. Who are you rivaled with? Padawatani. You know, if... Padawatani want um, well, to, my military leader left us. If they want to migrate back down here, I will have no qualms against killing them. I just need somebody to fight. Come on. I mean, I don't always want to fight, but when you're just sitting around colonizing, it doesn't make for great YouTube content, I'm sure. Don't worry, guys. Soon, hopefully, very soon, we can eventually start fighting stuff. 18. Really? Why is it 18? Oh, do we have a... No? Hmm. That's really weird. Hmm. It's really weird. We have a 100% increase. That means it's supposed to be 100... 1,200 1, monarch points to take attack. That's ridiculous. Like, really ridiculous. A thousand monarch points is ridiculous to take tech. <sighs> but we have to take it in order to be on par with our enemies. It's really annoying. Really annoying! It's okay. Figure something out. We'll figure it out. I am making more money. I continue. My income does continue to grow. So that is a thing. We're not sitting around doing nothing. Which, like most of these guys, they're just sitting around doing nothing. Moving the army back and forth. No, we're colonizing. We're increasing our development. Making more money. So at least we've got that going for us. At least we've got that going for us. All these guys are in federations, right? I'm just going to double check. Yeah, they're all in federations. 
Federations. Federations. I could. I wonder if I could get you in my federation. <laughs> Let's try it. Why not? Um, your prestige isn't too high. Let's see if we can get you in my federation. How are we doing? 61. Uh, 4 and 52. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Fine, fine, fine. Alright, let's go ahead. Train another unit. Give me another guy. See if that finishes. If it doesn't, we'll train another one. See if that finishes. If it doesn't, then I have no idea. Let's see, 15%, 75% of 15, um, 14, 16 divided, so 16 would be 12, so we probably do need 12, is my guess, my guess is we need 12, we'll see, yeah, we didn't finish, we need 12, let's train another one and get this mission finished and see if we get another one after that, after that. Or if we don't get anything, we can see what happens next. Happens next. Happens next. We are the biggest nation in North America. Well, yeah, we're the biggest nation in North America. All one, two, three, four. All 12 of our provinces. And there's our mission completed. Fantastic. Fantidiosis. And we have no more mission right now. That's fine, I guess. Army's cheaper for a little while. Which is great. It means we make more money, more money, more money, 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 money. Combine. We have a 12 stack, too. So we are our we can flank our enemies, which is nice. By ourselves. We can flank our enemies by ourselves. All right, still no colonialism. Man, it's been 20 years since colonialism could spawn. Normally, like in every other game I play, every other game I've played, colonialism spawns like, if not right on the dot, within a few years, not 20 years. It's definitely taking its sweet old time spawning. Definitely doing that. I kind of want to fight Miami. But they're allied to my ally. Which means I have to go to war with my ally first. Ah, oh, great. Now we gain corruption every during the year. Why are you an embezzler? Why? <laughs> Why are you an embezzler? If I had one more stability, it would just offset it completely. But since I don't, I have to pay 0 .02 ducats. Because my ruler is an embezzler. And feels like he has to take money for himself. But he does give me taxes. He does, he does have the Midas touch. So I guess without that, I would be making a lot. I would be making a bit less money. So, I suppose it offsets. I suppose you're fine. Okay. Oh, this colony is almost halfway done. Uh, in another year, we'll be able to know what it makes. Let's see. What We could make tobacco. We could make fur. We could make cotton. We could make naval supplies. Or we could make grain. I think tobacco or cotton. Because fur is what? Two? Yeah, it's two, while tobacco is three, and cotton is three in trade value. Um, okay. Uh, will you join my federation now? Nope. Get in there. And we make fur. Oh, I'll take it, but it's not really what I wanted. Oh, well. Fur, fur, fur. We could corner the market on the fur trade. Um, we produce some fur. I mean, a lot more fur gets produced up in these provinces. So we're not going to corner the market on fur anytime soon. It's a lot of grain. It's a lot of grain out there. Tobacco, 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 tobacco. We actually produce naval supplies. No way. 
Shows how much I pay attention. Alright. Um, 1.5 ducats a month while colonizing. I like that. I like that a lot. Um. Yeah, we don't need colonial range. And then we don't need production efficiency or unrest. And yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. Look at all that. Look at all those monarch points just sitting there saying, Spend me, spend me. You know you want to spend me. But I don't want to spend you. I want to gain institutions and then spend you. Where are we at for favors? Can we declare war yet? Eight. We are four years away? Four years away. And you... Uh, we don't have a guy to send. Let's call you back. If I declare war on you now, will the Huron join now that you're back here? I really hope he says yes. I really do. And they still say no. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. You should come down and border me. You really should. You should border me, and then you should rival me. Ooh! Oh, yes! Hallelujah! That was Portugal's boats. Hallelujah! We have first contact with the Europeans. I saw Portuguese boats. And if Portuguese have boats... My guess is they are exploring, and if they are exploring, that means they will be colonizing. And if they are colonizing, that means we can get institutions and reform our government. Finally. Hoy. Whew. This is going to be good. I'm excited. I've got excitement. I've got excitement. Sorry. I'm actually really excited. <laughs> Stuff is going to happen. Very soon. Very, very soon, hopefully. Please, please, please. We've had too much peace in this land. The Federations must be destroyed. We must destroy the Federation. Destroy them. Ultimate power. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. I think I've had enough too much caffeine. I've had caffeine. Boy. Does it taste great. Should I go, should I go to three? Should I go to three? What do you think? Do you think I should go to three, guys? I'm... Wow. Okay. I think we'll wait to go to three. Until our guy dies. And then we can boost to two. And we can go to three. That sounds like a good plan. That sounds like a right good plan to me. Ooh, look at that. It's under a thousand. I mean, if they just colonize down here. Just somewhere. Just colonize here. And then jump here. And then, ooh, by fire. Give me production efficiency in a province. And don't fail. Ooh, it succeeded. Masoage. That one. Masoage has gotten 10% production efficiency because land shaped by fire. Nice. Okay, well. I'm going a little bit crazy, guys. In case you hadn't noticed. Um, it's a mixture of just sitting here the last three episodes, doing nothing, trying to figure out what to do, and having caffeine in between those episodes to drink. Yep, that's been what I've been doing. So, I guess, uh, we're coming up to the end of this episode. Another episode of slow colonization here in Europa Universalis 4. Hopefully, very soon, um, you have reached eight favors. The Huron will still not join in this war. 
because of 52 reasons not to join because of distant war. And against the Creek, how many reasons do they have? They have 99 reasons. And I really want the Huron in the war. How many, how much favors? 33, let's boost trust by one. Um, the Shawnee, we can boost trust by one. One. Okay. Um, but yes, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching. We saw Portugal. They're coming. Slowly but surely, guys, they are coming. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Till then, guys. Bye-bye.